a stroll in the garden with the former king of Greece, living a life in exile in London. As a young man, Constantine II was handsome and popular with the Greek public. He even won a gold medal in sailing during the 1960 Summer Olympics. Married to a beautiful Danish princess, he ruled his country for 10 years before political upheaval turned his world upside down. Your Majesty, you have been in exile now for how many years? Uh, close to 40. Close to 40 years. It will be 40 years uh, next year. You are related in many ways to just about every European royal family. That's true, isn't it? Including uh, the Spanish royal family where your sister is Her Majesty the Queen. You don't feel a twinge of jealousy that she has, a, not, a, not to her personally, but the circumstances. I'm are. sorry, I don't. <laughs> You've obviously adjusted to life in exile. My great luck was that uh, this calamity happened to me when I was very young. So when you're very young, you adapt easier than if it happened to me at this age. Probably one of the most difficult things to get used to is that from one day to the other, what you have to say doesn't make any difference. You lost the lot <laughs> in one fell swoop. What does that matter? <laughs> Because we all spend so long trying to get it. You want to become king? Well, I don't know. Do I? I doubt it. You, you've got your freedoms taken away from you. You can't simply get up one day and say, I'm not going to do this function because I don't feel like doing it. You've got to do it, whatever it is. Even if you don't feel well, you've just got to do it because that's what your job is. You've got to uh, uh, serve the people. There's no other way of explaining it. You had no choice really about leaving I had a choice I had a choice I but you have, did you really have a choice yes I had I could have easily stayed on with the dictators and just carried on and hope for the best but that was an anathema to me and to everything that I believe in and uh, everything my family taught me and my parents that uh, the people have to have uh, the freedom of choice and that freedom was taken away from them in one night and, you know, it's not a very nice experience to wake up and find that you have no government, no opposition, no senior staff. All my person uh, uh, staff were all in jail in, 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 in a matter of minutes. There were nearly 8,000 people arrested in one night. And um, this was a, an appalling situation. I could not stay in Greece with the knowledge that the Greek people were um, under the boot, that they had no freedom. The military regime came and the military regime went. Democracy was restored, and yet your throne was not. That must have been very hard to take. Yes, but I mean, it, at least it was done uh, through a free choice of the, of the people. We have a, a constitution of which I uh, respect and accept it, and I will not ask for that to ever happen. If the government does that, that's another issue. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to inv get involved in anything to do with restoring the, the monarchy to Greece, because that's not my function. So... Are you resigned then to dying as a former king of Greece? Uh, I, mean, I don't care. Why should I care? I mean, if the Greek people are happy with the system they have today, why should I want to be the one to change it? Just because I like to be a king again. That would be crazy. I mean, that's not what uh, sovereigns are all about. You're only a sovereign because the people want that system. Do you believe that the, that the, the monarchy will be restored in Greece at any point? I, I believe personally that it is absolutely impossible to answer that question truthfully. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, I doubt it. Um, but who's to say what's going to happen in the future? It's come in and, 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 and gone uh, on repeated occasions. What is important for me is that I can be in my country, be amongst the Greek people, have a house there, grow up and enjoy my grandchildren and my children in the country and not outside. That's what I want to do. Why would you want to? You've lived most of your life or a large part of your life here in the United Kingdom. Why go back to a country that threw you out, stripped you of your citizenship, stripped you of your property, and that you had to drag through the European court? There's nothing in my country that's grey. It's black or white. It's crying or laughter. It's uh, full of uh, contradictions. And there, there is a huge amount of compassion in the Greek people. Uh, I feel terribly at home there. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I am extremely grateful, and I've said so repeatedly, for the way I've been treated in this country, and um, I will never forget that. But it is in our blood, 
we want to be back home. Thank you very much. Thank you.